This is the Gomaluku Podcast. Vamos! <laughs> Dev, um, energy. All right. Do you, do you, um, any, do you, do you want to kick off this time? Do you want to do the start of the intro? No, Maybe let's. Spanish, English, Spanglish? No, let's, let's give this amazing opportunity to Mr. Tomohiro. Please, Tomo. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, just let All the people these... that 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 are uh, watching um, get the the um, the the two the three minute origin story of who's Tomohiro Harada. By the way, at diplomatic husband on Instagram, uh, he's posting a lot of uh, knowledgeable things in his stories. Um, so that's yeah. and a very good friend of ours. So um, so that's why he's part of the show. Well, thanks, thanks, Ghazali. Um, thanks for the thanks for the platform, and thanks for inviting me. Um, hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Tomo, uh, and uh, I'm a I'm a researcher um, who is uh, very much interested in um, and uh, understanding indigenous peoples' participation and and their challenges uh, and strategies uh, when it comes to uh, addressing climate change in a big forum like COP26. And I just arrived in Glasgow today uh, to, to prepare for what is to come in the next couple of weeks, uh, which is COP26. Uh, and arguably, uh, many says, say that this is the most important uh, conference uh, for states to, to decide the course of uh, action for the next, uh, you know, years, if not decades, to 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 address the issues of climate change. Um, and today, I think we we were we were asking a very uh, important question, uh, which is, you know, what what uh, what is COP twenty six, and 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 why should not just Indigenous people, but I think everybody uh, should care. Uh, what happens uh, in this uh, in this uh, at this conference uh, in the next couple of weeks? So I think um, I know that you know Ghazali Ini and Hokabed are here, uh, you know, to to explain you know why they care about COP twenty six. Um, but I think my 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 uh, my uh, task here is to explain what it is that that, that we're talking about. Um, so. Uh, I try to explain it in a very simple way. Um, so, for you know, since the beginning of nineteen nineties, the countries uh, around the world uh, are trying to kind of understand, but also try to solve this problem of climate change. Uh, we know that uh, for we know that, for example, that climate change is is caused by uh, greenhouse gas emission, which uh, comes from uh, uh, human activities. So, so the scientists have discovered that you know it is uh, uh, it is us who are who are major contributor to to global warming and and how the climate is today. Uh, so therefore, uh, we have to come up with a solution to to to, to try to control that. Um, and of course, um, COP twenty six literally means uh, twenty six meeting of the of the countries, conference of parties, right? The countries uh, who, uh, who have been uh, trying to answer this question of climate change for, for, for some time. And uh, in 2015, uh, as you know, there was a Paris Agreement, which uh, recognized that climate change is a, is a very, very serious threat to to, to the planet. And if we don't do anything to solve this issue, uh, we're going to face uh, an irreversible uh, uh, impact, uh, not just on our planet, also the planet, but also our, uh, our livelihood. Uh, uh, so, so there they decided that, that, um, that we should aim uh, to limit the global temperature increase uh, by 2%. Uh, from the pre-industrial level. Now, the, a lot of countries wanted to do 1.5%, but but uh, but that but uh, 
the some countries decided that was too ambitious. So so two percent or well below two percent was was the, was the uh, was the was the objective of the of the Paris Agreement. Um, and that was 2015 um, in the COP21, uh, and it's been uh, six years since then. Uh, and and the, and the and the countries uh, who wants to see Paris Agreement implemented are still struggling to come to uh, how do I put it agreement on 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 what action that each country should take in order to achieve that goal. Um, and this Paris Agreement in particular should have been uh, in effect uh, with. Uh, appropriate rules, uh, you know, in in uh, in maybe three or four years ago, but but the idea is that the country still haven't managed to to come together to 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 agree on the rule as to how to go about achieving this goal, uh, and we have now a, a major report from IPCC, which is a a, a, a body that that. That, that tells us the, the, the best available knowledge about climate change, telling us that, that, that if we don't do anything now, if we, if we cannot reach an ambitious climate uh, target, uh, if, you know, if we cannot agree on, 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 um, on, on how we go about uh, uh, challenging this problem, then, then, then we are going to have a, a, a serious a consequence that 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 uh, that is, is that is irreversible um, to to fix to 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 fix. So so in that sense, um, this meeting, especially you know, not having a COP last year, uh, is is a very very important meeting. That if we don't agree, the idea is that if we don't agree on any actions. Uh, to limit the global temperature rise to two degrees uh, within two degrees uh, from pre-industrial level, um, there's going to be a severe consequences that 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 we we will all feel regardless of whether you're indigenous peoples or or youth or or or, or local communities, farmers, peasants, and and other you know uh, categories of people who will feel uh, the climate change in different ways. So so. So that's that's the background, uh, and that's that's the gravity of the situation that 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 we are we are confronted with, um, and I, I I think that this is this is a very basic uh, explanation of 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 of, of um, what is at stake at the at this particular COP, and I I, I, I uh, so so I would just stop there and and just pass it on to Ghazali and. and and Hokaber and Ini, <laughs> uh, as to as, as to why they see this particular COP as 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 the most important COP uh, that 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 you you guys are are uh, confronting uh, now. Uh, did I did I miss anything? No, actually, I, I think um, that's it. That's it. That's uh, all we needed to know. Thank you so yeah. much, everyone, everyone for watching. Um, <laughs> Can no, it's <laughs> everyone can go now. Um, actually, it was it was it was funny because um, uh, yeah, it's basically the 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 one uh, uh, the the nutshell version of, of what COP twenty six is, obviously. Um, whereas um, I, I expect actually you to introduce yourself, and then we do like, all right, this is COP twenty six countdown, and then we go into the whole thing. Uh, but. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but 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 it, but it's fine. Uh, so other people know. Um, you just now uh, heard a what what COP twenty six is and and why it's important. Um, as the um yeah the 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 the, the major question of today is what is COP twenty six and why should I care? This is COP twenty six countdown. Uh, we're counting down to uh, November first uh, when the day one of COP twenty six, uh, the the climate change conference um, of the twenty sixth. Climate change conference, oh no, sorry, the climate change conference, but the twenty sixth conference of parties. See, it, it's very confusing. Um, what well, we do it in both in English and, Span and, and Spanish or Spanglish, um, so that we can, um, yeah, uh, try to explain to uh, as best to our knowledge um, what what's, what's going on. 
it's the if really? someone explain in in English has to uh, explain in Spanish too. So Tomo, ah, you know, right. he, he needs oh. to, he needs to, to explain it in in Spanish. <laughs> so I think he's now pretty good in in Spanish, you know. Um, being in Chile, uh, maybe you can wow. try. <laughs> um, wow. Uh, you know, I I can only say you know, cambio climatico. That's you know, muy mal. That's you know. <laughs> um, But yeah, it's, oh, I don't know. I don't think it's my, I think, I think I'm out of turn. Um, um, but yeah, it, it's a, uh, yeah. All I, so in a nutshell, what I was trying to say is that, is that, uh, is that we need to take action now. Um, that's, that's, and, and not just a ordinary action, but ambitious action. Um, and we talked about this, that, you know, that it's not just ambitious in terms of setting an ambitious target. Uh, but it's also about you know being ambitious in uh, in in making sure that those targets are sustainable and, and equitable to, to 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 everybody who are who are going to be affected by this. Right, um, yeah. Tomo, as you explain what COP twenty six is, how it relates to climate change and and the Paris Agreement, um, why in the world is everyone traveling to Glasgow? Like why Glasgow of all mm. places in the world? Well, I mean, I mean, oh, obvious answer is that you know the COP is happening in Glasgow, uh, but I think, I think the, I think the, um, the, the, the general atmosphere is that you know the civil societies are running out of patience. You know, they are, they have been you know asking for an ambitious climate action, uh, climate justice, uh, the kind of actions that would not only seriously tackle the issues of climate change, but also uh, solve while doing so um, um, uh, the, the action themselves takes into account the concerns that, 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 that youth has for their future. Uh, the concerns that the workers working in you know, fossil fuel industries have for their futures and their families as they are being asked to, to transition from from their jobs to cleaner, you know, sustainable energy, um, inclusion of women, inclusion of you know LGBTQ community, inclusion of indigenous peoples in a, in uh, in in, in uh, coming up with a policy that is truly inclusive and 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 addresses the concerns of of of, of millions and billions of people who you know who who really want government to take action uh mm -hmm. and and i think i have to say that you know in the, i think this cop regard despite the pandemic is going to attract you know perhaps the most number of people in the in the in the, in the last two or three cops and that that speaks to the you know to the to the urgency of the matter that 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 that, that people people feel and know uh about about Uh, climate change and, and 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 perhaps more that people are actually feeling in their everyday life um, uh, that 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 things are things are uh, not normal uh, mm -hmm. and and take that and, and it needs action now right and um, obviously is in what um, this is it's this is called cop 26 so there was a cop 25 there was a cop 24 mm -hmm. and there will be a cop 27 um, so Paris Agreement, how what that was adopted, uh, that was uh, negotiated in 2015 in Paris, uh, which was the, the 21st uh, session of the of the of the COP, so COP 21, it was called. Then it went to Marrakesh in 20, 2022, 23, and in, in um, presided by Fiji, but held in Bonn, Germany. 2004, we went to Poland in, to Katowice. And in 2005, um, uh, COP25 was held in Madrid. Um, who gets to decide um, where a COP is held? Um, is there is there is there kind of a short list? Is there how do is do they rotate? What what, what is the, the 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 process that that uh, uh, chooses which which uh, um, city hosts will host a COP? Right. So. 
Um, in the UNFCCC, uh, I think there are five regions. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, yeah. So, 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 so there are Africa, Asia, uh, the the Western and other countries, and and A uh, and uh, Latin America, uh, and uh, I, tell me if I missed anything. Uh, I think Eastern Europe and and Russia, or, or basically, you know, and and every five years, so so um, different regions. Oh, uh, hang on, hang on. It's it's always difficult to explain this. So so these regions rotate, uh, mm -hmm. basically. Um, so one time it's it is a it is the country from Africa to 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 take uh, hosting role, uh, and and those countries are decided on the voluntary basis, right? So someone, uh, a country, uh, uh, nominate itself as wanting to be the candidate for next host of the COP, uh, and obviously uh, in the last five years it's been very uneven. Uh, we had Paris, uh, and then and then we had Marrakesh, right? Uh, but the Fiji uh, was um, uh, obviously they they uh, uh, they wanted to host, but you know for for capacity reasons they decided to host in Bonn. Uh, but not hosting. everyone everyone can fly to Nandi, obviously, or or yeah. to Fiji, right? Yeah, and then um, and then Katowice uh, was there. It was a turn of the uh, Eastern Europe, uh, and then and then uh, Glasgow. Now, oh no, Madrid. But then again, you know, uh, the Chile was a host, but then due to um, the the internal uh, situation in in Chile, uh, it had to move to Madrid. But they, the Chile was still the host, but 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 uh, it had to be hosted in Madrid. And then now we have Glasgow, so the hosts are continue hosts are continue to rotate according to you know plan, but but the, the physical location of 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 the last. Uh, three, four cops uh, has been in Europe. And that, that causes a lot of um, um, problems uh, in terms of, you know, um, Europeans having obviously easy access to these venues while, you know, people from, from African regions and, and, and Latin American regions have to, uh, have to travel to Europe for the last four years just to attend COP. And that, and that, that, uh, that, that, that hasn't been uh, received quite well uh, uh, in a sense that it hasn't been very uh, equitable in terms of uh, hosting the cops in different places as, as it should be. Um, yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, so one final question, obviously, before I hand it over to, to, uh, to Ini. Um, so COP26, uh, uh, what is um, in your, uh, in your, um, view, I would say, is, is what, uh, what is likely to come out of it? Um, uh, what will, mm. what do you think will happen in Glasgow? Oh, everyone is coming together. Um, states, indigenous peoples, uh, civil society, um, battle it out for two weeks. Um, mm. what, what, what in, and I'm asking in terms of managing expectations, right? So yeah. people expect, X, but um, should expect Y, you know? Like, so um, paint me a picture, of, if, if you can, uh, what should they not expect and what can they expect? That's a very uh, difficult question. Um, will, will, it, will it solve, the, the well, let, me, let me start with, with a simple, simple one. Will it solve climate change? What is what? Sorry. Will it solve climate change? Like Company Six, it is a it is a pivotal meeting. Will it yes. solve uh, uh, climate change? Will it be the 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 results that you want to say? Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> well, I think you know we all. I think we cannot deny the the the. The, the importance that that people place on uh, on the Paris rule book uh, mm -hmm. uh, there are many agendas that, that are being discussed at the cop 26 um, of course the local communities and indigenous people's platform uh, agriculture climate finance but in order to really implement the 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 the, the, the what was negotiated the Paris agreement uh, we have to the we have to finish the, the the parties have to conclude the negotiations on the article six and I think mm -hmm. uh, it's it's a very complicated you know 
uh, content, what the Article 6 contains, and maybe we will get onto that uh, later. Um, but it's about, you know, um, as the COP26 presidency kept mentioning, about ambition, right? To, to what extent uh, can we expect, uh, what, to what extent, um, uh, you know, what, uh, uh, can we ex expect the countries to be ambitious in their climate action? Mm -hmm. um, because there are some countries that that uh, that are from the front wanting the climate actions to be ambitious in terms of reaching ambitious targets, uh, and in a, and and also implementing with with ambitious safeguards. Um, but there are also, of course, countries that 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 does not feel the same way, uh, and I think the expectation that I have about this is is that is that there's going to be a, a, a very big gap between the countries that wants to be ambitious and the countries that that are saying, hey, hey, you know, slow down, mm. uh, and and I think. Um, a lot of people talk about what well, do we want a deal if the country not if not all countries are ambitious do we or do we just um you know uh do we uh uh prefer no deal because no some say no deal is better than a bad deal um right but but i think leading up to cop 26 there's a huge gap there's a huge uh, disagreements between parties that needs to be reconciled uh, and 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 with two weeks that we have, and the civil society pressure that is mounting upon states to deliver, um, we would certainly see uh, 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 perhaps a, a very visible friction, so to say, between the parties. And I think we should be very much aware uh, of of that. Um, uh as a starting point of of of, of this of this cop uh because because it is uh um uh it is looking to be a a, a very very um uh a difficult cop for at least for 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 parties that are that has to come to a conclusion uh and answer the expectations of people that are going to line up uh outside of the streets and and in the venue right yeah so um obviously it is it is, what people should should uh so from sh should not expect that it is going to be the um the that their big moves are going to be made that that it's going to really make a big impact on 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 um the global uh, political climate i would say and and, and the, the the willingness to or the implementation of solutions it is uh if anything, anything that, that that I've learned is it's it's all about making they're all making subtle steps, you know, like small steps, and making like two steps forward and one step back, two and three steps forward and two steps back. So it is, it's no big monumental changes, even though people demand change, big monumental changes. So that is um, um, so in terms of managing expectations, is what what people and what we have learned to do. You me, you me. Mm -hmm. Uh, Ini and Hokabed um, to manage our expectation when we go to COP in terms of negotiations um, of yeah. uh, on many issues. Um, yeah, um, Ini, uh, you, you want to switch over to, sp to Spanish or what is what is your idea? What is your approach? Well, or on Hokabed, obviously. Yes, uh, we we can switch a little bit and then come come back to to English. You know? All right. Uh, bueno, buenas noches, Hokai. Buenas noches a todos los que nos ven. Hoy tenemos otro, otro invitado, el señor Tomohiro Harada, amigo de nosotros. Y, y bueno, eh, casualmente, Joca, escuchaste cómo explicaba un poco de los antecedentes de lo que es eh, de estas conferencias de las partes, ¿no? Eh, sobre el cambio climático y todos sabemos que esto tiene sus antecedentes desde que empezó también lo del río y todos esos procesos en que se ha venido. Y claro, estoy seguro que ahí deben estar los grandes actores que hoy 
ya no viajan mucho y están otros, ¿no? Eh, en todo este proceso. Ok, ¿qué tal esta noche? Cuéntame, cuéntame, ¿qué, qué tiene? Sí, bueno, sí, buenas noches. Bueno, buenas, sí, buenas noches también en Panamá y en Latinoamérica, en Avia Yala. Pues, eh, conociendo un poco más de la realidad eh, de las políticas de estados a nivel internacional y creo que una de las preguntas que se nos planteaba hoy es qué es la COP26 y quizás para los y las amigas que nos están escuchando pues de manera bien sencilla la COP26 es la conferencia de Naciones Unidas sobre cambio climático y consta de varias partes Iniciará con el encuentro de los mandatarios del mundo, es decir, los presidentes. En su segunda semana se concentrará en la negociación de los compromisos que se adquieren a nivel individual y globalmente. Entonces, una de las preguntas es por qué es tan importante y por qué es tan importante para los pueblos indígenas. Entonces, antes de pasar ahí, ni quizás decir algunas cositas breves, por ejemplo, que se está realizando del 31 de octubre al 12 de noviembre en Escocia. Y... Hay un punto muy importante y es que se quieren llegar a acuerdos con relación a la emergencia global que se ve a veces irreversible si los estados no, no, no se ponen de acuerdo para tomar decisiones precisas. En este sentido, pues se espera que se asuman la meta de reducir los gases de efecto invernadero para el 2030 y las ceros emisiones de carbono neta para el 2050. Eh, también se espera que haya compromisos de sobre la eliminación del carbón como fuente de energía y esto pues propone un poco que esta COP26 es muy muy importante porque si no se toman las decisiones en este momento pues se espera que a lo mejor el caos que está sucediendo a nivel mundial con relación a la crisis climática pueda ser irreversible. Pero bueno, se tiene esperanza y resistencia de que se pueda llegar a acuerdos y desde hecho creo que es algo que quizás Gini va también a ampliar un poco por qué es importante para los pueblos indígenas y qué tienen los pueblos indígenas que aportar en esta COP26 y que han están aportando al mundo con relación al tema que estamos hablando. Así ah, es, Oka, y qué bien que hayas traído esto, la importancia que tiene. Y quiero también a los que están en casa, eh, es importante... Eh, lo que dijo Oka y lo vamos a abordar ahora, pero también no olvidar lo que decía eh, el amigo Tomohiro porque es, es importante a los que están ahí en casa también puedan comprender hasta, hasta dónde llega todo, todo este proceso, ¿no? Y por qué hoy estamos aquí en Glasgow y por qué no en otro lado y como decían acá los amigos que, que estamos viendo que, que anteriormente han pasado en París, donde todo sobre... venía haciendo otros COP, pero París fue como un punto importante de quiebre, por decirlo así. El, el acuerdo de París, lo que vino después en Marrakech, o lo que, bueno, lo que iba a ser en otro lado, pero terminó en Bonn al año siguiente, ¿no? Y lo que vino luego en, en Katowice, lo que mencionaba acá el amigo. Y todos, creo que todos se acuerdan antes de, de la pandemia el corre-corre que hubo al último momento, Jocabet, creo que todos estábamos preparados para ir a Chile, pero con todo el levantamiento del pueblo chileno y, y los que tenían, terminamos haciendo, eh, participando en Madrid, pero claro, eh, la presidencia lo tenía, lo, lo tenía Chile, ¿no? Y bueno, hoy, hoy, un año después, estamos aquí en Glasgow, y claro, lo que decía acá el amigo explicaba que, que cómo, por qué, porque acá es, es simplemente en que los países aplican que quieren ser, eh, que quieren tener en su país eh, la COP. Creo que para el otro año se cambia para, creo que va a África, si no me equivoco, ¿verdad? Ya salí el próximo eh, año. Es Egipto. Egipto, ajá. Entonces, así, así funciona un poco de lo que es la COP. Y sí, y una de las cosas que mencionó el amigo Tomohiro Jokabet fue que, que no solamente es importante para los pueblos indígenas esta COP, es importante para toda la humanidad, para que estos países, uh, sobre todo los superdesarrollados, se comprometan ¿no? a lo que fue en, al principio 
de, de mantener los gases de efecto invernadero debajo del punto de, de quiebre. ¿no? Entonces, y allí venimos también los pueblos indígenas en general, eh, Jocabet, eh, Tomo, now talking about indigenous people, ¿no? And, and why, and why we need to put in front the indigenous people's rights. ¿no? Imagine that if we are going to like count the percentage of, of uh, the land that indigenous people we are protecting, uh, it's like huge and like when we are in population, we are like just five percent in total, the world population or four percent that is a minimum. But that what we do for the for the world, for the humanity is huge. So talking about that is like the start point, you know, why it matters to us this COP26. Yeah, and why we are here. So I explicaba un poco en, en inglés también que, que es increíble, ¿no? Que aunque seamos pocos los pueblos indígenas en el mundo, pero protege, protegemos el 80% de, de la biodiversidad del, plan, del bosque del, del planeta. Para, prácticamente los pueblos indígenas eh, aportamos el 80% y somos pulmones para que es todo de los gases de efecto invernadero que poco a poco ya están, ya está haciendo, ya están causando estragos. Y cuando llega a los pueblos indígenas, el golpe es mucho más fuerte, donde no llega el apoyo de, 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 los, de los estados de la manera eficiente. Ya, llegan, pero no, no es eficiente y tampoco se mantienen por mucho tiempo. No sé, Joca, si quieres decir... Algo y así también entramos en, en inglés para enfocarnos en tema de por qué es importante para los pueblos indígenas esta COP26. Bueno, quizás agregar a lo que ya mencionó eh, Tomo y has mencionado Ini y también Gasali, que pues viendo un poco la historia y lo que decía Tomo en el en recuento histórico, eh, también este, esta COP26 se presentará la oportunidad de evaluar el desempeño de cada país firmante en esta meta colectiva de, de salvar la tierra, así se, se le dicen. Pero quizás para los pueblos indígenas más que nada es saber cómo podemos relacionarnos de manera integral y holística con la madre tierra, como le reconocemos los pueblos indígenas. Bueno, con relación al otro que pregunta sobre los pueblos indígenas, eh, y por qué es importante para los pueblos indígenas, para la humanidad entera, pero como indígenas nos estamos enfocando también en las comunidades indígenas y es que es importante que las voces de los pueblos indígenas sean escuchados en la COP26, en varios de los mensajes de los pueblos indígenas es que es importante porque los pueblos indígenas eh, de manera milenaria han tenido una relación muy cercana con la madre tierra y cómo también han traído soluciones para adaptar y mitigar los efectos del cambio climático, es decir, cómo aprende, aprender de las sabidurías milenarias, quienes han sido guardianes, protectores y transmisores de, de los conocimientos y de las sabidurías indígenas, por ende es importante escuchar eh, estas experiencias prácticas locales que permiten también a los estados tener otras formas de, de comprensión de esta crisis climática, no solamente a los expertos, eh, sino también a los expertos indígenas, quienes a través de su propia vida han planteado propuestas y como Ine decía, eh, el 80% de los bosques ha sido preservado por los, las comunidades indígenas. ¿Esto qué significa a nivel mundial? Eh, yo creo que por ahí vamos y entonces te cedo la palabra, Ine. No, I'm sorry. Um, uh, so, no, yeah, we go now. Now let's talk about indigenous peoples and why this COP or everything is mattered to us. And I would like to, to pass to the expert and Gasali that he can, he, he can share a little bit uh, with, uh, with our, our followers and people. Um, I would like to, to say like to greet our friend uh, uh, Johnson is in New York getting ready to get it here. And a lot of our uh, relatives, they're, they're coming, you know? So, Johnson, saludos, hermano. Un fuerte abrazo. Viene un jaguar amazónico a Glasgow. 
Y a todos los que nos están siguiendo, a Don Marcial desde Nicaragua, que, que está pendiente de, de este en vivo, ¿no? Adelante, Gasali. Yeah, and a, yeah, obviously a big, a big shout out to everyone that that's watching. Johnson, I see Marcial, I see uh, Kilmara, I see um, Anteliano. Um, everyone, thank you so much for, for, for tuning in and or def definitely, um, yeah, uh, um, letting us know that you're watching in the comments. We really appreciate it, um, which makes us feel that we're not alone, that, that we're not talking to ourselves. Um, um, it's, uh, it's always hard to to um, to talk um, about something that because I'm not an expert as as in I don't speak on behalf of all indigenous peoples. We don't speak speak on behalf of all Indi indigenous peoples. 476 million indigenous peoples all around the world, according to the latest um, number by the International Labor Organization, and and uh, like Ini just now said. Uh, uh, we at best we're six percent of the world's population. However, um, being six percent of the world's population, being amongst the amongst the most marginalized and most vulnerable people of the world, we do protect eighty percent and, and of the world's remaining biodiversity. Another stat that um, Ini just now shared. Um, super important to know that um, we, as Indigenous peoples, living in harmony with the, with the natural world, understanding the natural world. Um, that we have a knowledge that is infinite, that we have knowledge that is, uh, we have been practicing, observing, um, and, and, and developing um, since time memorial till now, and will continue to do so in the future. And that particular knowledge is super important to, 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 to fight climate change. Um, that um, right now, what mo what COP26 or states or people in general want to look at climate change in solving is trying to solve it with the same mindset and with the same knowledge that actually got us into this mess. Whereas um, um, if you start to include and break, oh, include indigenous peoples at the decision-making table, if you start to respect their rights, our rights, respect our knowledge, respect our practices, you can see that um, that that it will be a very important part of, of the solution that we, we are uh, trying to shape um, to to make sure that, that we can stay below 1.5 degrees um, um, Celsius. Um, the knowledge of indigenous peoples is not the only th is it only not the only reason why indigenous peoples go to the to the to the COP uh, COP twenty six. Um, it is also because there are decisions being made that have a huge impact on in indigenous peoples, and it's not on just the the um, the uh, most prominent issues that are at the table right now at COP. Um, but as indigenous peoples, our worldview is, is that everything is connected to each other. Every process is connected to each other. Every um, aspect of climate change as, as is, connect, is important, as is as the every aspect of life on Earth is, is important. Um, so we don't only bring our knowledge um, to the table, but maybe more importantly, we bring our mindset to the table. Our worldview, our cosmovision of how we see how things are related to one another, and I think um, those are two things that, that that we try to we try to partner with with states. We try to we're we're part of humanity. Um, right now, COP twenty six is the conference of parties, which sounds like you can only be part of the the. the Decision making. If you're party to the to to the to the um, the Paris Agreement, however, to fight climate change, you need the entire humanity. You need the uh, if you need the entire humanity, you need all the voices of humanity. You also need the voices of indigenous peoples, the voices of like Tomo said, indigenous peoples, civil society, gender, farmers. Uh, uh, local communities um, or rainbow family. Like, uh, we need all of them. 
um, if we want to really have, have a, um, a, a consolidated, concerted effort with all of us to to stay below 1.5. And um, so the very reason of, of, of us and these people going to Cop26, going to Glasgow, going to Cop26 is for many reasons. Um, but in any negotiation or any uh, process that we go into, it is super important that um, we have a baseline. Indigenous peoples, every time we go to a international or UN meeting, we have to keep on negotiating. We have to, uh, we have to, there's no baseline. Uh, and what we're trying to do right now is to make sure that the rights of indigenous peoples, uh, which is uh, also included in the declaration, the UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples. I have a copy of it right behind me. Um, that ensures that any decision that is being made um, by states, by the COP, and COP26, that it respects the rights of Indigenous peoples. So, because you need to see this, this, the rights of Indigenous peoples as a protective layer. As in Indigenous peoples, we uh, know uh, how to uh, be, we know sustainability because we, we live it. We, it's part of a lifestyle. Sustainable development is part of us. We don't call it sustainable development. We could just call it what we do. Um, and that has made us to, and this, this stat, um, that we have 80% of the world's remaining diverse, biodiversity is on our territories. So in a way, let us do what we do best and to or in order for us to continue doing what we do best we need to have this protective layer and that's where the rise of indigenous peoples comes in um that we don't uh, um, uh everything that we, that we do doesn't get regulated by, by the government or that um, um uh, private uh, entities or companies or businesses can take over our lands or ancestral lands, where that's also part of our, our, our practices, our, 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 our lifestyle, our mentality, our identity, um, which it has all has a, um, yeah, uh, aspects or influences of the how we, yeah, how we how we treat our planet and and, and how we t how we treat each other. Um, so that is why, in many uh, processes, like like. Um, Tomo just now shared Article 6, for example. It is important that um, as a baseline, as a minimum, there needs to be the respect of the rights of indigenous peoples and the human rights um, so that we include our rainbow family, our farmers, uh, um, youth, women, every, elders, everyone, disabled in, uh, people um, and indigenous peoples. That, that's the full enjoyment of human rights is maintained um, in when states and private sector and everyone else are are doing their activities um, to reduce carbon emissions and to fight climate change and to accelerate um, their actions, because we've seen it before in in, his, in history that uh, when um, there comes when it comes to these carbon um, yeah, uh, carbon emissions and, and credits and 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 all these things that on the other, which is a good thing to many, but on the other side, the, the rights of indigenous peoples are being violated. Um, indigenous peoples are being lo located to other, well, not even displaced. Actually, they get evicted from the from their own indigenous lands. So we want to prevent that because again, eighty percent of the world's remaining biodiversity is remains on our territories. So keeping us on our territories and our rights ensures that you have something to yeah, to build upon um, in terms of fighting climate change. And it's it's not rocket science. It's just indigenous peoples, people being humans and, and tr treating the, the planet like they treat or like we should, should treat each other. So that is a, um, a, very condensed way of, of yeah, um, answering a question, Ini, and hook a bet. Yeah. Uh, 
no sé, Ini, más que nada quizás hacer un resumen de lo que dice, ha dicho Gasali, ¿no? Este, que, eh, para, ¿por qué es importante para los pueblos indígenas la COP26? No solamente por el tema de los conocimientos y sabidurías que podemos ofrecer, sino también porque esto, cómo afecta las decisiones políticas a los pueblos indígenas, pero por otro lado también, eh, Asali cree que es muy importante, y creemos todos que es muy importante la cosmovisión, él mencionaba, quizás yo añado acá, eh, no solamente la cosmovisión, sino también la cosmovivencia, es decir, las formas de vida de los pueblos indígenas, y por ende también plantearse preguntas de la importancia de escuchar las voces de los eh, eh, a líderes, ancianos, mujeres, jóvenes en la COP26 desde, eh, desde los conocimientos de los pueblos indígenas. Pero esto también resulta que eh, las líneas de bases en las cuales se presenta todos estos temas de negociaciones tienen que ser también escuchadas a partir de la realidad local de los pueblos indígenas y también de este conocimiento que debe ser articulado, es decir, él eh, decía, pues déjenos hacer lo que sabemos hacer bien los pueblos indígenas, por ejemplo, cuidar a la madre tierra, eh, bueno, en otras palabras lo dijo, claro, pero si nosotros realmente, eh, si los gobiernos nos dejan hacer lo que nosotros sabemos hacer bien, entonces eh, las políticas de estados realmente van a ser más justas con relación al al tema de, del cuidado de la tierra y todo el tema que tiene que ver con eh, este, eh, en lo que él mencionaba un poco era también de cómo podemos nosotros eh, al unir los esfuerzos pues eh, reconocer un poco más la realidad eh, de los pueblos indígenas pero también articular con los, con los estados allí y no sé si quieres ampliar un poco más yo nada más estoy haciendo un resumen general de lo que él mencionó No, está bien eh... Y lo, y lo otro es que, o lo más importante es que si nosotros, eh, los pueblos indígenas, hemos estado eh, haciendo la conservación, estamos viviendo con, con, a base de lo que nuestros conocimientos tradicionales y nuestra presión es mínimo, y los estados tienen que reconocer eso, los estados tienen que, que reconocer que, ejemplo, eh, una de, la, de las poblaciones a nivel mundial que, que es parte en, número uno en la parte de mitigaciones son los territorios indígenas, por ende tenemos derechos entonces y, y, los, y los estados y para ellos es importante, ellos deben reconocer los derechos de los pueblos indígenas en todo este proceso, ¿ya? porque igual si nosotros esto como se está hablando a nivel mundial lo que hemos conservado Hubiese estado, hubiese estado peor. Entonces, ahí le toca a los, a los países en, en determinar esto, sus posiciones y todo, y allí entra también el trabajo de cada uno de nosotros, los que estamos aquí, de cómo incidimos en nuestros países, cómo, cómo lo hacemos. ¿ya? Por ejemplo, nosotros que somos de Panamá, cómo nos acercamos para que puedan involucrar dentro de toda esa negociación el tema de los derechos de los pueblos indígenas. Ya, son cosas que, que igual en lo que ya Joca explicó en general, pero quería decirlo. Ya que estabas hablando, Joca, eh, mencionaste a, a, a todos, incluyendo a los jóvenes, hoy, 28, ya estamos a, a la, media, ¿no? la una de la madrugada aquí en Glasgow, eh, empieza también las reuniones de la juventud. La juventud tiene su, su, empieza hoy sus reuniones y vamos a ver cómo, cómo avanzan también en esto. Yeah, I was, I was talking also like uh, today, 28, I have my like Panamanian date here, so uh, I'm feeling that I'm, I'm 27. Uh, today, 28, also the Jude, the Jude, Jude Summit is starts. So we'll see what, what I would like to, to see what they, they, they want to say, they what would like to, to share, because it's important also to, to hear uh, their voices. So I don't know if you would like to, to add something else, Tomo or, or Gasali. And some Panamanian is coming for the COI. Uh, uh, this is participate in this uh, conference. 
digo, lo que está diciendo, perdón, es que algunos panameños también van a participar. De hecho, Eni conoce a algunos en Panamá, algunas jóvenes que van a estar participando y también compartiendo sus experiencias, pero también hablando un poco sobre eh, lo que quieren presionar al gobier a los gobiernos, ¿no? Y bueno, no sé, también hay una cosa muy importante en, en el Facebook que algunos dicen que hay muy poco apoyo del gobierno con relación al cuidado de la tierra. Entonces, bueno, en otras palabras lo han dicho, pero creo que, que es importante, como bien Ine decía también, que eh, no solamente el Estado, sino eh, la sociedad civil, nosotros, eh, podamos mirar de qué manera podemos este, realmente ser conscientes de esta emergencia climática y tomar acciones precisas, individuales, como colectivas. Eh, y como pueblos indígenas, en nuestro caso, seguir los pasos de las y los abuelos para todos los jóvenes con las que ya vivimos en las ciudades, cómo eh, reconocemos esa sabiduría y no nos alejamos de esta sabiduría que sigue permitiendo que podamos respirar, ¿no? Eso es eh, Gasali Antomo. No, that's, that, that, that's okay. Um, I, I saw this question coming up as well, so thought I'd, uh, and um, yeah, show this so that people can, so yeah, so that we can, we can you can, um, Uh, comment on it or reflect on it. Maybe that's a better word. Um, yeah, COP twenty six. We, we we've been talking about that. Why why should people care? Um, I think we we we've I think we covered it. Uh, I believe, uh, both in English as well as in Spanish. Um, any um, yeah, is it is is that is it is that sufficient? Like, is it that the, the, the what people should know? Obviously, there's way more. Uh, but uh, I, I'm uh, so that people know. Like during the COP26, we will keep people updated, obviously on 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 what's going on, so that people can ask more questions. Because I'm sure that more questions will um, emerge. Um, yeah, is is this? Do, 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 um, is there anything? Any famous last words? Anything that that we forgot to mention? Or Tomo still wants to share? Um, any or Hokabed? Um, before I, um, yeah, uh, before, I, I before we a, ended. I have a question um, to to Ghazali, actually. Um, oh, boy. Uh, th I think this, uh, there is going to be a lot of uh, participants this year at the COP26, uh, as before COP25, COP24. And, and, and we've seen, you know, a sustained presence of indigenous peoples at the COP26. Six. So maybe maybe I want to kind of ask you a personal question. You know, why 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 do you keep coming back? Um, what's uh, what what motivates you to come to come to uh, COP? Um, um, hmm. Yeah. Um, uh, well, actually, uh, if, if, uh, I I got parachuted into COP twenty one. I wasn't even planning to go to go to Paris. Uh, so that kicked off. Uh, my, my climate change, um, um, how should I call it? Um, stream of, of work, you know. So it's so not not just human rights. Um, what keeps me coming back is uh, at the end, like a, you need a vision. Um, uh, you need to have some kind of a vision that you want to work for, and at least oh, hold on, you don't. Need, It, it helps. It helps to have a vision um, that you would like to see become a reality, um, um, which keeps you coming back, or, or which makes you come back because you, you, you want to, you want nothing more than that vision to become a re reality. And it, there can be a vision of, of, of many things. You can be, it can be a vision that you have on a community level that. that Um, or, or or an individual level. Um, um, I have a, a view of what I would like to see. It is more on this multilateral level of at the mm -hmm. at the conference of parties at the United Nations level, um, and it's obviously like like I said it, like I said before, it's about managing expectation. You cannot hope. Or do something in, at COP26 and, and and expect it to become a reality. You have to need to make subtle but significant steps. You need to need to meet, meet, meet. It's mm -hmm. it's like building a house. You know, you do brick by brick. You don't you don't like boom bring uh, uh, 
put down a house uh, like that. Uh, so you need to build it brick by brick. And so my vision, actually, what I would like to see is that as have um, indigenous peoples being like equal um, at the at the decision making table to two states. Um, so the indigenous governments, uh, 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 parliaments, assemblies, all these, because we've been nations before, you know, or we still are nations. Sorry, and we still are indigenous nations. We have our own governing systems. We it might not be called it as a, as a as a our leadership might, might not be called president, but called the elder or or a leader. Um, but it has it comes in many shapes and sizes, and we've been. And to be honest, and these people have been, uh, our nations have been there before the political states. You know, and, uh, just colonization screwed us. So, and when you talk about multilateralism, international cooperation, um, indigenous peoples that have been colonized uh, for for hundreds of years, or have been have been uh, um, on the receiving end of human rights violations for many years and still want to be at the table at the in in, in um in good faith um i think that is a mindset that needs to be heard at that that doesn't be um part of these this dialogues i mean you need to be part of discussion not not just um uh, the um what, what's it called not just decision making but it, it or, or knowledge but it, it's more than that so Having indigenous peoples um, uh, being able to sit at the table as as, as their own governments or their own representation, um, that's what I like would like to see. And it, it and yeah, and it goes through many stages. So yeah, you you, you helped uh, uh, um, advocate at the for the the the, uh, the platform, local communities and these people's platform. That's a that's a brick, and then there's Article Six is another brick, and then Coronivia is another brick. You know, see, so you keep building these building blocks. So that is what is what makes me, at least, my vision that me keeps me coming back. Um, so, the, the, hopefully, that is is an answer to your question. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Kazali. And any oh. uh, pass it to you. Ah uh, no, actually, I was just uh, listening. You know, the expert. That's, and, but actually the, it was a good question and uh, no, para los que, los que no hablan inglés, eh, Tomo le pregunto a Kaga, Salí, que, que de, de todo esto, de esto es locura, por decirlo así, en pocas palabras así, a lo panameño, que lo mantiene a él eh, regresando, participando en, en las COPs, ¿ya? Entonces, él le explicaba un poco que, que esto es también un reto para posicionar o para hacer escuchar eh, a los pueblos indígenas que, que le tomen como, como tú a tú eh, sus derechos en, en todos estos procesos de, de negociación. ¿ya? Porque igual la realidad sabemos que, que, que esto falta mucho, pero... Si, si no hay nadie incidiendo, si no hay nadie allí cerca, sería, sería peor. Y yo, yo, yo en sí, antes de cerrar, quiero mandar un mensaje a todos. Eso incluye a todas a, las autoridades de los diferentes territorios de Avia Yala, que, que una manera de incidir también es yendo... A la, a la dirección, por ejemplo, en este caso de cambio climático, preguntando qué hay allí, qué, qué tienen allí, porque si no hay nadie, tampoco preguntando el, el gobierno o en o el Estado está pensando, ah, estoy bien, pero si estamos allí presentes también, eh, haciendo el seguimiento a los temas que, que se está desarrollando, Allí, allí tenemos una incidencia importante. Pero sé que las autoridades y todo no, no, no comprenden eh, eh, todos los temas, pero para eso están también los jóvenes que vienen surgiendo, que se están desarrollando, que se vienen capacitando y que puede apoyar en la parte de asesoría a las autoridades. ¿no? 
y bueno, quería decir eso antes de, de terminar, no sé si Jocabet quiere agregar algo. Bueno, solo agregar de lo que se le decía, un poco también el hecho de, de lo que tú mencionas, Gini, sobre la equidad de decisiones, ¿no? Pero también el tema de, de que eh, para él ha sido muy importante y participar porque es, con esa incidencia podemos reconocer de que también pueden hacer algunos cambios. Entonces, bueno, yo más que nada decir que que eh, creemos que en la incidencia de las y los hermanos indígenas que vamos a estar aquí, de una u otra manera, eh, eh, unidos podemos hacer más fuerza. Entonces, yo creo que los hermanos y hermanas indígenas que están aquí en Glasgow, eh, que van a estar llegando a Glasgow, eh, unidos podemos hacer fuerzas por eh, reconociendo las realidades en el Avia Yala y reconociendo también la riqueza de nuestros pueblos, pero también incidiendo en, en los propios países, ¿no? Y bueno, eso, yo creo que, que cada uno de los que está aquí tiene alguna motivación y, y una de las motivaciones más particulares es ver que se escuchan las voces de nuestros pueblos, pero también aprender, incidir y seguir caminando juntos o como dirían las abuelas cunas y las abuelas en el ave ya la tejiendo, cosiendo la mola juntos y juntas. Así que yo... Mañana, ¿qué tenemos, Gazali? ¿Qué tenemos para luego, por decirlo así? Right. Um, so, everyone, I um, appreciate you for, 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 um, for tuning in. Uh, Tomo, for, uh, for staying up late as well uh, and, and sharing your knowledge. Uh, so people, keep an eye on his Instagram stories. Um, that's where he lives. Um, that's where he shares his knowledge, his expertise, and um, his... his um, Um, yeah, his lifestyle as well, which is pretty cool. Um, so, uh, so th that's why we're, um, yeah, we're doing this so that you keep an eye on us, uh, keep an eye on, on, on our social media. Um, these are probably, yeah, those are Instagram channels that we were, we're showing these at links, uh, cause we mostly will be in keeping you updated on Instagram. Um, having said that, obviously this. COP26 countdown uh, tomorrow. We uh, we already talked a little bit about it. Um, um, the most important question is, what do Indian peoples want from COP26? So we talked about Indian peoples going to COP26. Um, and today we talked about what is COP26 and why should you care? And, and, and then obviously tomorrow we'll go deeper into what we want from COP26. And Tomo already talked a little bit about it. So hopefully he'll join us tomorrow again um, to, to share more about his, his, his views and his knowledge and, and his analysis uh, and Hokabet and Ini as well. Um, so that's what's on the menu today, tomorrow, uh, Ini. So you see, va a ser importante, ya saben, eh, mañana a la misma hora, al mismo canal, a las 6 de la tarde, que vamos desarrollando poco a poco los temas, ¿no? Y mañana vamos a ver verdad lo que es, en verdad, qué queremos nosotros de, de este COP26 aquí con Tomo. Y quizás se nos unan uno o dos más. Quién sabe, en, de esto se trata, que, que vengan otras personas y que podamos también llevar esto a bajar esas informaciones que muchas veces quedan acá arriba, pero que, que de una manera llegue a los que nos están escuchando y que puedan comprender eh, la importancia que tiene la participación de los pueblos indígenas en estos procesos, ¿no? Así que, Joca, yo me despido con esto y ya saben, mañana seguimos con, con el tema ese. No sé, le, dejo a Joca para que cierre. Bueno, a todos y todas hasta mañana. Eh, esperamos que también tengan sus preguntas y, bueno, quizás tendremos a otros hermanos y hermanas y que estén bien, que tengan buenas noches, van y malo. My friends, you can now also listen to the Go Milka podcast on Spotify. Listen while you use other apps or do other things. If you don't have Spotify, just open your Apple or Google podcast or your favorite podcasting app and search for the Go Milka podcast.